just wanted to let you know that you are amazing, special and capable of anything. Thank you for watching this video and taking a positive step for your learning. Alright, so welcome to the world of pie charts and segmented bar charts. So these types of graphs or charts are about representing segments or fractions of a certain population. So based on the picture, um, the section or the proportion that's shaded in a certain colour represents people who chose a certain category. So here we are. We have got a nice graph of people's pizza choices. I should say people's <laughs> pizza choices. We've got margarita, pepperoni, and carbonara. And for those who are like, oh my gosh, carbonara is a pasta flavour. Well, hold up, it's a pizza flavour as well. I had it over the weekend and it was life-changing. Um, so, shout out today to the key, because if we didn't have a key, we wouldn't know what each part of our pie chart represented. So based on the pie chart, we can actually see what proportion of people surveyed picked different options. So for example, if we had to say how many people, well, we don't know the people, but what proportion of people pick margarita, it is half because half of the graph is shaded. Um, then you'd be like, oh, what proportion of people picked pepperoni? Um, a quarter. And same for carbonara. So it's nice and easy when you've got a circle, but you can actually make segmented bar charts, which are rectangles. So for this one, half of it would be margarita. Maybe you could colour it. And then the other quarters would be pepperoni and carbonara. So you can split bars as well, according to the proportion of people who picked it. So what if I told you that this pie chart is made up of 100 people's data. Now we can actually start putting some numbers to all of this information. If half of these people, I shouldn't say peoples, I should say people, picked margarita, that means 50 people picked margarita because 50 is half of 100. For the quarter and quarter, that's 25 people and 25 people because they are a quarter of a hundred. So hopefully now you're getting a bit of an idea how pie charts are made, what they're showing, and how you can convert from fractions to the amount of people potentially that might have picked it. So on this page, we're actually going to go the other way around, where we got the data, and we are going to make a pie chart out of this. Yay! So this is actual data from my 2021 Year 7 class. And the students picked which Harry Potter house they belong in. So you can see we've got two in Gryffindor, Noel in Slytherin, five in Ravenclaw, five in Hufflepuff, and a whopping 11 who have never heard of Harry Potter. So hopefully by the end of the year, I would have introduced some magic and showed them the great world of Harry Potter. So altogether, how many students in my class took this survey? Here are the totals. We have got... 23. How did I get 23? Added all of these numbers down together. So now we can start preparing our sectors of the graph because now we know everything's out of 23. So for Gryffindor, two out of the 23 in my class that did the survey chose Gryffindor. So two 23rds. Slytherin is zero 23rds. Ravenclaw is five 23rds. Hufflepuff is five 23rds. And never heard of Harry Potter is 11 23rds. So yay, now it's just a matter of splitting the circle up into these 23rds. But hold up, how do we do that? Well, the first thing we've got to realize is that a circle is 360 degrees. Um, so once we know that, we just need to multiply or um, find what is 2 23rds of 360 because the moment you know that you know how many degrees will go to Gryffindor so remember in math if you see the word off change it to a times so we're going to be finding here 2 23rds times 360 um, in the next one we're going to be finding this is zero by the way 5 
twenty-thirds of three hundred and sixty. That's a twenty-three. Five twenty-thirds of three hundred and sixty, and eleven twenty-thirds of three hundred and sixty. So by doing this calculation, we are going to find out how many degrees of our circle go to that sector. So we're dividing our 360 degrees according to the different sectors or fractions that we've found. So a nice way to think of it is that this is a pizza representing our data. It's got 23 slices and we just need to figure out how many of the slices go to each category. I'm going to do these calculations on a calculator and you can do the same. All right, so I did my calculating and Gryffindor is going to have 32 degrees. Ravenclaw will have 78. Hufflepuff will have 78. And never heard of Harry Potter will have 172. So now we can start drawing this in our pie chart. So you'll need to draw a very nice circle and use a protractor to measure out the angles. So you always start with the biggest angle first, which is 172. So if this is the start here, 172, I'm going to approximate is around there. So that's our never heard of Harry Potter category. <laughs> that's my tears. Then we go with the next biggest, which is 78 and 78, which will look a little something like this, 78 and 78. And the last one, which is Gryffindor, is 32. And that'll be this last one here. So remember, colour in your graph this is your chance to get creative, have some fun, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw. Never heard of Harry Potter is going to be black because it's sad. But that's okay, no stress. But actually, no, 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 it's not black. It's I'm going to keep it white because it's a new opportunity. It's a fresh start. Oh gosh, that actually made the graph disappear. Um, 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 let's come up with a different colour. Grey. I've decided that when I go back to school, I'm going to show my class Harry Potter. Maybe at lunchtime or something. Alright, so let's get this key going. We've got on the graph grey. We've got on the graph red. We've got on the graph yellow. And we've got on this graph blue. And we need to tell people what these mean. The words of Justin Bieber, what do they mean? This means no Harry Potter. This means Gryffindor. Um, you would write the full um, name out. I'm just doing this for time. Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. And done. Now you've got a really pretty pie graph. Oh, wait. You need to label it with a title. Which Harry Potter house are year seven a part of explanation mark done and that's how you figure out a pie chart so the first thing is collect your data convert it to a fraction and then find the fraction of the circle in degrees that represents it and this is how you do it fraction times 360 because in other words the times means off so you're asking what is two twenty thirds of six three hundred and sixty you might need your calculator for that part. So I hope now you're feeling a little bit more confident with how to read a pie chart to get information and how you can create one of your own.